Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this here is a reading that is dedicated to the sign of Cancer, my dear friends Cancer. This is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever does resonate with you and simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to contact me, uh, you would like to have your own reading, please do so. My information is all right below into the YouTube description box. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. So let's begin this reading. We want to know within this reading is it over right now you're in a no contact mode with your ex with your partner maybe you're in a pause or it's something that's more definite we want to know are they going to contact you are you going to be able to contact them or is it simply over i'm using three different decks to come and give us this information i'm using some tarot i'm using some oracle and i am using some uh, steampunk I'm going to remove for the moment the steampunk. I'm going to remove the oracle as for the oracle is really more for guidance for you. And the other two are really giving us information on the situation at hand. So let's begin with tarot. I have a transition. We have the three of wands. I have the wheel. I have the sun. I have the five of swords followed by the ace of pentacles. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, I have the Nine of Swords, and I'm finishing it up with the Ace of Cups. All right, so I do believe that there is going to be at some point some uh, some type of um, some type of correspondence. Okay, I can see it here very briefly okay i see it over here with the ace of cups other than that i don't see it all that well i'm going to go see uh, for more clarity within a few minutes within the steampunk deck to go and get a little bit more information see what um the messages are there as for here there does seem to be some kind of hope that there is going to be something because i can definitely tell you that they are very fond of you they do have a lot of emotion still for you. Um, I'm not going to go all the way to the word of love. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, but there is great fondness. They care about you. They like you. They want the very best for you. That being said, do they want anything more out of that after? Well, that is going to be left to be seen. As for the moment, I see that there's a lot of changes. Okay, There's a lot of changes, and I feel as though these changes are going both ways. Right now, I feel as though you have done so much effort within this relationship to try and get it back on track and it just didn't get back on track and and I feel as though you're feeling like you're defeated in this like you've tried to do whatever it is that you could you don't know you do not know what it is that you could have done more and yet it still came to the same point the point of rupture that you just didn't want and so this is really about feeling of the defeat feeling that we have put everything that we could we've tried and yet we came to a conclusion that we did not want. Um, that being said, I feel, as I said, you are going to need a lot of patience. They are going to contact you, I believe, but they're not going to be contacting you quite right away. You're going to take a little bit of time. They're going to take a little bit of time. They're going to let the dust fall down a little bit. Um, I do know that you are quite determined. You are not going to let go, okay? You're feeling defeated with all the efforts that you have done, but you are not defeated, knocked down, knocked out, and giving up. No, you have quite the determination and you want to continue until you have your clarity, until you have your answers, and until you know that everything is done, everything is over with, and why it is. Um, so you are quite determined. As I said, you are going to be needing quite some patience for that because you are searching for that clarity. They kind of left. They kind of, you kind of ended this situation. Um, you know, a frustration, there's fighting, but you don't have all the information that you're requiring. So you do want this information and you're looking for it, but you just don't have it. They are going to provide it to you maybe someday. Um, I do feel as though the rest of your life, I do feel like you do have some great abundance around you. I feel like the only thing that you're really missing right now is that love. You're missing that true love that you want. Um, but as I said, this you, by the way, you are very loyal. Okay. Um, well, I, yes, you are very loyal within this relationship. 
Um, I feel as though you have a lot of, like I said, determination. And I feel like this determination is going to bring you to a certain transition. It's going to bring you to a certain transformation. Let's put it that way. So it's going to bring you on different tracks. It's going to change you. It's going to change your perception. It's going to change your way of thinking and maybe even the way that you feel about this whole relationship. So there is some progress that is going to be going along. The time period is somewhat unknown. We do not have it. But there is something that is going to be changing. It is in the air. It is there. And it is surrounding mostly you. As for your partner right now, we're speaking more about something that is stagnant. Okay, it's not moving all that much. That's pretty much what it is. I'm going to go and check it out now and see um, if we can get a little bit more information with the contact within the steampunk. So I'm just going to remove these a second, make us some room for our steampunk, and let's begin. I have a house. I have a butterfly, a castle, a comb, a grape, a grapes, flowers, money, and a man, and a tombstone. Okay, so either two things here are going on. Either there has been some treachery, there has been some cheating going on, a very short-term lived cheating, okay, or, or love triangle, not something that went on for a very long time. Either that is going on, or second option here, uh, which is left to be determined within the time, is that they are going to come back to you, but they're coming back to you for different reasons. They're more coming for um let's say a booty call or you know they're coming for you for different reasons than what you would necessarily want um with that being said it is something quite fleeting it is something that is not going to last very long it is very seasonal such as the flowers that we see here um there is some kind of aspect that has to do with money within this relationship also that you need to be careful for there's something that has to do with finances um, but I do ultimately, I do believe at some point you are going to talk, you are going to discuss about this, you are going to try and, and comb out the situation, comb out all the little knots and figure out, you know, what went wrong and why it came to this. But I still feel as though the house is going to be unhappy. I still feel like the barriers are all the way up. I feel like there has been too much. Somebody has enjoyed too much of something that was not very good in abundance, uh, some toxicity, and it created some problems within the relationship. And this is where it is. And I have the tombstone who is telling me that it is going to be at an end. Um, so, okay, answer the question. The question at hand and the subject is, um, well, there's, there is going to be a contact at some point, And there might even be some... Um, um, some specific calls, let's say like that, some specific meetings for some specific reasons. And, um, and that is pretty much going to be it, I have to say. Um, I'm going to go and verify and see. Well, not verify, but let's go see what the Oracle has to say as um, some guidance messages for you. So we have some healing. We have some balance. We have some refusing to see and we have some healing begin. So um, this is a little bit of a warning here that I'm seeing with refusing to see. Very important, okay? If you cannot find that balance between this relationship, if ever they do come back and you do want something with them, if you cannot find that balance, you need to let that go. You need to heal. Yeah, your healing is going to begin, okay, at that point because you are going to have your closure. You're going to know that this is simply not for you. That being said, right now, you're just kind of, you're in this mode. You're refusing to see what is going on. And with what might be going on within the future, again, it's just really feeding the, it's really feeding your refusing to see by, you know, continuing the frequentation and everything. So be very, very careful. This is my warning. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you. So please be very careful about the uh, continuum of this relationship. Um, so that being said, this does uh, conclude this reading. I hope I brought you some type of clarity. I hope that it did help you out somehow. Um, again, it might not reflect your situation. Um, if you would like your own reading, please do contact me. My information is right below into the YouTube description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Have yourself a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. I send you much love, much courage, and much strength. And I will see you tomorrow with a new message.